For years, Mike Spry witnessed what he says was a toxic and predatory environment at Concordia University, but he did nothing. I'm a coward, and I think I was susceptible to the power structure that manipulated these young women. This week, he went public in a blog describing an English department rife with inappropriate relationships between male professors and their younger female students. He says if he kept quiet any longer, he'd be a monster. Today, he describes some of what he saw to CBC uh, News. Any kind of book launch or reading would be a big event, and big event that uh, was fueled by alcohol. And it wasn't uncommon for um, older male professors to drink a lot and then openly attempt to uh, kiss or grope um, female students. Spry says he's ready to name names. CBC News is still working to corroborate the allegations. Concordia is launching an investigation. The president of the university would not confirm whether any professors have been suspended. But he says they take the allegations seriously. I wanted to start by saying um, profoundly sorry that some of our alumni and our students have experienced the things that they're reporting to have experienced. Other women have told CBC they've been speaking out about sexual misconduct at Concordia for years, but no action was taken. Shepard says this is the first he's heard of it. I've been reading that it's an open secret, but um, it it's not, was not an open secret to me, and uh, I do my best to pay attention to these kinds of rumours because uh, they, they're important, um, and I wasn't aware. If I had been aware, I would have acted sooner. But Spry has a different take. It was the water cooler conversation on that floor. And people wouldn't make fun of it, but they openly talked about it as if, as if it was the weather. Concordia University says in addition to the investigation, it's also meeting with members of its creative writing program and also launching an assessment of the environment here on campus. The president says he wants students to feel safe. Jayla Bernstein, CBC News, Montreal.